Hi there, so this book review is uh, on my last book, uh, The Royal Gladiator, the true story of Maximus Decimus Meridius, who is the um, the lead character in the 2000 film The Gladiator, or Gladiator, I should say, with Russell Crowe, um, won many Oscars. Thoroughly entertaining film, I loved it. Um, very popular film. But the uh, question is, would it have been uh, any less entertaining if it was more historically accurate? Okay, and um, I'm going to argue very strongly, uh, no, that's not the case. It would have been just as, if not even more entertaining. Um, now, the, the main character, um, played by Russell Crowe, Maximus Decimus Meridius, is an invented character. There was no such, no such person. However, there are two, um, two, two historical figures who are very closely resemble, um, resemble him, both um, senior generals under Marcus Aurelius. One was Tiberius Claudius Pompeianus, who did actually marry uh, Marcus Aurelius' daughter Lucia, although um, there wasn't much love lost from her point of view because she uh, looked down on him. She'd previously been married to the current emperor Lucius Verus, and she didn't take kindly to being forced into marrying a former equestrian, who's far below her. Um, and then later on, in, um, when she was implicated in the plot against her brother Comm uh, Commodus, um, her husband wasn't implicated at all, and he, he managed to survive that plot. As we shall see, he uh, may or may not have been implicated uh, towards the end of Commodus's life. Um, the other figure is uh, another general called Marcus Valerius Maximianus, and he was um, the lead general at the end of the Marcomannic Wars, which is where the film starts. It starts with the last battle, supposedly, in uh, on the Danube, and... Um, uh, <clears throat> the battle scene uh, brings us into um, the initial battle, and I'll go through the chapters now. So first of all, one of the themes that goes through, through the book is this idea of bringing the empire back into republican values, supposedly. So we start off with um, a bit of historical background into uh, the Roman Republic and how it moved into an empire and what the thoughts and feelings of people were towards that and some of the ideals they had. Um, and then... Uh, go into the initial battle, we go through that, and we talk about um, leads into the Roman army, and there's quite a lot on weapon testing, and armour, and weapons, and battle tactics, and how battles used to be fought, and some accounts of contemporary battles, which most people will hopefully find interesting. Um, I have a chapter from Marcus Aurelius, um, talk about his lifestyle, he was quite an unlucky em emperor, he had quite a lot of um, things for us to Thrust upon him, um, the Parthian War erupted soon after he came to power, and then uh, when that finished, he was almost immediately um, thrust into wars on the Danube, which is where we start the film when he's uh, finishing off that war towards the end of his uh, reign, end of his life. Um, I've then got a chapter on uh, gladiators. We talk about individual gladiator contests and how they were fought, not as it's depicted in the fi in films generally, and also uh, they did also do. Um, or major battle reenactments, so something like the uh, the Battle of um, Carthage against Carthage would have been uh, well within their um, abilities to um, show. But we discussed whether that was uh, that was accurate or that's how they would have done it. Um, there's a major chapter on Commodus, and we talk about um, how he what actually happened to him, and um, and also after Commodus, there wasn't like a friendly bunch of senators all. Standing over his body in the arena, harking back to the days of uh, the Republic, and it actually descended into civil war and um, the bloody reign of uh, Septimius Severus. Um, one of the things that people might find interesting is the way Commodus actually died, didn't die in the arena. He was actually the gladiator, if anyone can be described the gladiator out of all the figures in, in the story, he actually fought, did fight in the arena. Um, but he didn't die in the arena, he actually died uh, at the hands of uh, somebody else. Very, uh, very interesting plot, and um, talk about that, and I won't ruin it, so hopefully people will find that interesting. And over, overall, once you sort of read the history, um, they could have written a very good film based on that, um, towards the end of it, towards especially towards the end of Commodus's life and all the different plots that were going on. So, all in all, um, I hope you like it. If you like the film, then you'll like the book and hopefully you will be entertained. Thank you very much. Goodbye.